Hi everyone, I'm Ava, and you're watching Ava Talks Crypto. Welcome, and thank you for visiting our channel. For those who haven't watched our videos before, we deliver all the latest news events happening in the crypto world. We also give out daily market reports that can help you trade like a pro in the crypto market. Through our videos, you will be able to make informed decisions on your crypto trades and investments. If you like what we do, please give our videos a like. You can also support us by subscribing to our channel and sharing our videos with your friends. Please leave a comment to let us know what you think. And hit that bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos and be the first to watch. Now, for our latest headlines. Bitdeer plans to raise $500 million for Bhutan's crypto mining operations in a deal with the government. Coinbase Global Inc. launches an international crypto derivatives exchange. Crypto observers believe that the Bitcoin rally may stall if Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell refrains from signaling the end of tightening. Biden administration is pushing for a punitive tax on crypto mining after the federal budget proposal meeting. To kick things off, let's start with the big move from Bitdeer. The Bitcoin mining company signs an agreement with the Bhutan government to establish crypto mining operations as part of its crucial expansion into Asia. The Nasdaq-listed crypto mining company and Bhutan's commercial arm, Druk Holding and Investments, will raise $500 million for the venture. The money will come from international investors, and fundraising efforts are planned to start this month, according to an emailed statement released on Wednesday. According to Bitdeer, the money will be used to construct data centers in Bhutan. It will run on hydropower, which will also supply electricity to the rest of the nation. Bhutan's main goal with the partnership is to accelerate the kingdom's digital transformation and economic diversification. The nation is very open to exploring new industries, such as cryptocurrency mining. The partnership will also benefit Bitdeer as it will mark its expansion into Asia, which is fast becoming a hub for the crypto industry. Currently, Bitdeer operates six mining sites in Washington State, Tennessee, Texas, and Norway. The Bhutan deal will be its first in Asia. Like most of its peers, Bitdeer also incurred losses during the torrid year 2022. The company lost $62.4 million compared to its reported profit of $82.6 million the year before. The mining industry also fell nearly 30% since it listed on the Nasdaq last month through Blue Safari Group Acquisition Corp. Bitdeer hopes to recover from its losses with the Bhutan partnership by expanding operations to Asia. Next up, we're taking a look at Coinbase Global Inc. The company also plans to expand its global footprint amid the escalating tensions between the United States regulators and the crypto sector. On Tuesday, Coinbase announced that it had launched an international exchange for cryptocurrency derivatives. The crypto exchange will let institutional users in eligible jurisdictions outside the United States trade in perpetual futures. The digital asset industry is currently recovering from several blow-ups last year, which included the bankruptcy of FTX and the arrest of its founder, Sam Bankman-Fried. Coinbase chief executive Brian Armstrong warned that crypto firms would develop in offshore havens. Unless the United States and Britain make their own rules on how the crypto industry can operate in their territory, we will see an exodus of other crypto firms to countries that are considered crypto-friendly. Many countries around the world are already developing regulatory frameworks designed specifically for the crypto industry. Market experts say that the United States is currently lacking on this issue and has been pushing the industry away. Just recently, Coinbase engaged in a discussion with the SEC concerning the development of a regulatory framework for the crypto industry in the United States. Coinbase stated that they would like the United States to take a similar approach that many crypto-friendly countries are taking instead of regulation by enforcement using outdated regulatory rules. The company also stated that this very situation has led to a disappointing trend for crypto development in the country, which would have otherwise helped in economic development. Separately, another crypto exchange, Gemini, also launched a derivatives platform for trading perpetual futures outside the US jurisdiction. These moves from both companies are signaling a trend toward what will happen in the future if the United States refuses to develop a clearer regulatory framework for the crypto industry. Now, let's turn to our next story. Crypto observers are speculating that the Bitcoin rally may stall if Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell refrains from signaling the end of tightening. Bitcoin is the world's largest cryptocurrency by market value and a macro asset that closely tracks US dollar liquidity metrics. Since the beginning of the year, 
the digital asset has seen a resurgence after a tumultuous 2022. Since January 1, Bitcoin has increased in value by 70%. While the long-term trend remains up, many observers are saying that the rally for Bitcoin may come to a halt if Fed Chairman Powell refrains from signaling a highly anticipated pause to the tightening cycle on Wednesday this week. The announcement on the Fed's interest rate decision will be made on Wednesday this week at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Chairman Powell will speak at the post-meeting press conference soon after the announcement. The Fed Fund's futures show that traders are expecting the central bank to raise rates one last time by 25 basis points, which will end the so-called tightening cycle. Traders are also pricing rate cuts starting later this year, in July. According to Dick Lowe, the founder and CEO of quant-driven crypto trading firm TDX Strategies, the industry is expecting that Chair Powell may shy away from being definitive when it comes to a pause. This will disappoint the market and significantly affect the Bitcoin rally. However, some observers don't foresee a sustained dollar rally, regardless of what Chair Powell says during the presser. Bitcoin is seen continuing to rally on a dervish pivot, according to Marcus Thielen the head of research and strategy at crypto services provider, Matrixport. Next up, we have the White House seeking a punitive tax on crypto mining. The Biden administration is actively campaigning for a tax first sought in a recent federal budget proposal. According to the administration, the budget proposal advocates that crypto miners need to pay an amount equal to 30% of their energy costs. Mining crypto is known to consume a lot of power. U.S. President Joe Biden is looking to boost the federal budget by tapping into the crypto mining industry by imposing a punitive tax on crypto mining operations. According to the White House's Council of Economic Advisers, the tax is for the harm that crypto mining imposes on society. The unusual industry-specific penalty can threaten the profits of crypto miners. Currently, crypto mining firms do not have to pay the full cost they impose on others in the form of environmental pollution and higher energy prices. Crypto mining also has an impact on increased greenhouse gas emissions. Known as the Digital Asset Mining Energy Tax, the present administration first proposed the tax in a document released by the U.S. Treasury Department on March 9. The so-called Green Book lays out a plan for the administration's proposal and priorities to generate revenues over the next year. However, such proposals tend to fail to survive the process as Congress finalizes the nation's spending plans. If passed, the new tax could raise up to an estimated $3.5 billion in revenue over the next 10 years. This will affect some of the largest U.S. crypto mining firms, such as Riot Platforms, Cypher Mining, Marathon Digital, BitDeer, CleanSpark, and Greenidge Generation. The CEA, or Council of Economic Advisers, published a report in March expressing its wider concerns with the industry. The report highlighted the possible economic effects of mining. The concerns also include possible pollution and the cost to local communities of having mining firms operate in their respective territories. Mining firms that use clean energy might also raise the overall energy costs and usage of the community around them. The Republican-controlled House might not be enthusiastic about the new tax proposal that penalizes the crypto mining industry. These are the latest news items we have for you today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Again, this is Ava from Ava Talks Crypto. Thanks for watching.